There are lots of financial talking heads out there, but there's only one who's local to Tucson. Welcome to Saving with Silverman. Mark Silverman is a certified financial planner, and he's here to help you with your financial questions. Today, we'll try to educate you about the financial world and encourage you to think of solutions to your financial goals. So let's get started. Saving with Silverman starts now. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the show this week. This is Saving with Silverman because making smarter choices about your money impacts the quality of your life. We thank you so much for listening to the show. As always, serving our listening audience right here in the Tucson and Southern Arizona area is the president of Silverman and Associates, and that is Mark Silverman. Mark, welcome in as always. How are you? I'm happy to be here, Mark. How are things going for you? Going very well. Hope you've had a, uh, a cooler temperature here or there. I don't think you have, though, have you? No, it's been it's been brutal. Yeah. It's been super hot. We have, we're haven't been getting the rain that we should have been ha- getting so far, but uh, it's been a rough summer so far. But, yeah, uh, I, I heard that they actually were grounding flights because they were it was too hot. Like, yeah, they do that. Yeah. They do that. Plus, the state's burning up. I mean, we've got fires that have been going on wow. on and off the last you know seems like months. Wow, crazy. Well, hopefully mm-hmm. everyone will be safe and. Hopefully they can get some control and some much needed rain will come in. So hopefully we need it. Yeah. Well, folks, if you'd like to reach out to Mark, he is a certified financial professional CFP. Uh, He can't help you necessarily with the rain, but he can certainly help you when it comes to, uh, you know, getting your money and your finances taken care of and get situated when it comes to retirement. So if you'd like to reach out to Mark, he's available to you anytime by calling or texting 520-333-7600. 520-333-7601. Mark's office is located uh, right here in Tucson, so uh, he can certainly give you a hand. No problems. Just give him a call. 520-333-7601. Mark, let's talk a little bit about client relationships uh, today on the show. I don't know if that's something we do a whole lot on here. so let's, Not uh, typically. Yeah, so let's dive into that a little bit. Sure. We'll, we'll change the pace. We'll k- keep you guessing after the holiday week. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, you know, often we talk about, I think, what it is like to become a client, but maybe let's talk about what it's like to be a client. We'll kind of, you know, we spend a lot of time saying, you know, you should come in and talk with Mark and things of that nature, which you definitely should if you haven't. But let's talk a little bit about what it's like to be a client. So when somebody has been a client for many years and they've already had that solid retirement plan in place, what do your discussions look like when you do get together with these folks for periodic reviews? So, you know, it really depends on uh, whether they're already retired or not. If they're already retired, which 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 quite a few of my clients already are, um, you know, it's making sure that, that we have enough uh, cash flow that, that they're comfortable okay. and, and see how those things are going. Also looking at to see if there's any, any life-changing events, both good or bad, and making sure that we're doing the appropriate thing and making sure there's no concerns with the accountant and really doing a check-in. If they're uh, pre-retirement, we're just making sure and reaffirming that their, their their plans haven't changed, as well as you know seeing and making sure that there hasn't been any changes as far as you know income levels or or where they're putting their money. If they've got a 401k, making sure that we've allocated that properly because we help with that as well. Making sure that we're having those discussions on when they should take Social Security or not. You know, so it really depends on where they are uh, in relation to their retirement and, and really understanding uh, what changes has have happened. Because like I said, the markets are going to do what the market are going to do. We want to make sure that we're adjusting based on on the client's individual circumstances and make changes based on that, not based on what the market may or may not do. So Mark, what are some examples of ways that you've been able to help your clients, you know, in ways that might fall outside the normal array of services, if that makes sense? Well, we do a lot of holistic planning here in the office. So, you know, most people that come in are just, you know, think that most financial advisors are here just to either sell financial, uh, you know, investment um, or insurance products okay. where they're more focused on really the investment management piece and don't really worry about anything else. So where we really add value is, you know, we help with the choices and, and decisions on, you know, when you should take Social Security, should you defer it? You know, uh, if you have pensions, how can we look at those things? You know, analyzing your life insurance. You know, we'll even look at people's property and casualty insurance and give them some advice on that if, if they'd like that. We'll also look at the estate planning. We'll also look at tax planning. You know, so we really look at everything and, and we put all try to put all the pieces together and we work with with other professionals too so if you're a client and you have already have a CPA you already have an estate planning attorney we will coordinate with those people to make sure you have the best plan possible if you don't we'll make referrals out to people that do that I just made a referral out recently to somebody who was um, turning 65 and they're looking at Medicare they want a supplement plan so we'll refer out to those those sorts of things so you know it, it's really being there and providing advice on things that we work with and things that we don't work with but um, if we don't have the answers we'll point people in the right direction so it's really 
it really is holistic and we really look at everything. Well, we're talking about what it's like to be a client of Mark Silverman and Silverman and Associates. And uh, it was certainly a lot of good information in there, things to think about. You want to make sure that you're having that holistic approach. You want to make sure that you're staying in contact periodically with your advisor and that you're communicating, you know, what's going on in your life and they're able to adjust accordingly so that they're able to work through those problems and the plan as you're moving your way through retirement. Of course, uh, Mark Silverman here is the president of Silverman Associates, 520 Five two zero triple three seven six zero one. Mark, uh, what are maybe some memorable victories or happy occasions, if you will, uh, when folks have, that you've helped out over the years, maybe something sticks out that you're like, here's a success story that I was really kind of proud of. We have those all the time. It's really helping people get organized. I'd say um, the most recent one that I can think of is we have a uh, uh, a couple that were already, they'd already been retired for, for a certain number of years and they weren't sure. They were kind of doing it on their own. They had an advisor that was, you know, sold them some stuff from time to time, but really wasn't meeting with them on a regular basis. Uh, was working as a, for one of the big brokerage firms here in town. And they didn't really know where they stood. So we built a plan for them, looked at their budget, and they didn't even have a budget. They didn't even know how much they were spending. And I'm not saying you have to stick to a budget, but we want to know what you're spending. That's the only way we can do planning. And so when we put the numbers together and showed them, based on their life expectancy, which in his case was age 91, in her case was age 93, we had them running out of money at around age 86 if they continue to do what they're doing with inflation and all these other things. They also didn't really have a plan for long-term care or how they were going to address it. And I'm not saying that we uh, put a, a long-term care policy in place. We have some other ways of, of working with those sorts of things. But we really had a strategy and really showed them how we could uh, improve what they were doing and actually have a strategy because prior to coming to, to meet with me, they really didn't. So, you know, that's just one that sticks out and, and they have a lot more peace of mind. And, you know, they always say, you know, money, money can't solve problems. And I agree with that, but it certainly gives you a lot more choices. Um, <laughs> and knowing that they were on a track that was going to they were going to basically run out of money uh, before they both passed away uh, would have been a big problem. So yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm glad we were able to help them. And it does uh, give you some peace of mind and not having to worry about the exactly. stress of those sorts of things. And that's really where a big piece of that comes in is that that being able to relax and just that stress that comes right. off of us. Yeah. So absolutely. even if you don't subscribe to Money Can't Buy Happiness, I mean, if you if you, if you you believe that um, having a plan and, and, and through our process of having less stress, that certainly should create more happiness or, exactly. or, or that sort of thing. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. It makes a whole lot of sense. It's just a, it's nice to have that, that weight lifted sometimes, knowing that you're okay, uh, that you have things in place. And there's a strategy, as you said, there's a strategy in place to help you get through uh, retirement, which is, you know, uh, it's, a, it's an important part in our life. It's a very crucial part in our life. So uh, since we were talking about maybe kind of a happy occasion there where you were helping someone out, uh, let's kind of flip the script a little bit. And uh, maybe when someone has come in who you had, you know, was in a pretty you know rough situation and uh, some of that advice wound up changing, you know, helping them out uh, in a different way. Um, and you were able to kind of help them get on the right path. Sure. Um, I had somebody, this has been quite a, quite a bit. Um, they came in from the radio, actually, they had called me, they had um, done business, and I won't mention names with, uh, with somebody else who basically sold them a bunch of annuities, uh, literally put somewhere between 80 to 85% of their money into annuities. Wow. And um, luckily, you know, they were over age 65. And why I say luckily is um, if you're over a certain age, you have a longer window to get out of these things. If you if you decide if you buy one, it's called the free look. And so they were still within the free look. We got them into the office. She brought all of her stuff. She knew it didn't seem right, but she didn't she didn't know exactly what they had. We called the company. And then both of the husband and wife were here uh, sitting in the office when we called the company, went through all the different policies and they ended up having. I think it was somewhere between four and five policies. Um, they had all of their money literally uh, put into these things. And I'm not here to just bash annuities, but I can tell you, you put that much money into annuities, it's it's, it's probably not a good thing. Um, gave up a lot of liquidity, that sort of thing. We were a, we were fortunate enough to where we were within the window, we were able to get them out of all of those policies without any penalties. Um, because we were still within that window and we were able to reallocate that money into things that are a lot more liquid that are going to provide some more conservative growth and, and those sorts of things. And um, now they have a plan and they're on track and um, in a much better place than they would have been. I mean, they were uh, it would have been a disaster had those policies gone in force. Yeah, it sounds like it. So it's good that you were able to kind of help them work through that, uh, some problem solving, if you will. And we're going to talk about that in the next uh, section here of the show. But um, if people out there are listening and they're like, you know what, I'd like to find out more about how to become a client, um, then how do they do that? And what's that look like? 
Sure, Mark. So, you know, I'm, one, I want to give away that white paper. We haven't done it in a while, but okay. um, sure. I wrote a white paper called The Top 10 Mistakes People Make in Retirement. It's something that we, we're happy to email out to you. So um, it's whether you're retired or still working, it's going to be beneficial to you. My hope is you don't make those same mistakes. All you need to provide is uh, when you call us or text us is your full name and your full email address. So if you can provide those things to you, we'll get, we'll get that out to you with uh, no strings attached. If you want to learn more uh, and take it a little bit deeper, and I don't, whether you're a first time listener or you've heard me for a long time, if anything I've said really makes sense or resonates with you, this is now your chance to come in and have a conversation with me. We'll go through this process. We call it the financial physical. And I can assure you, I will not be trying to sell you investment or insurance products. I know this is totally different than everybody else's um, pitch on the, on the radio, if you will. Um, I repeat, this is not a sales meeting. Rather, we're going to discuss your values and goals in a way, honestly, you probably never have. This consultation is designed for both individuals as well as couples. However, if you are married, it is mandatory that both spouses attend this initial meeting. So whether you're still working or already retired, this is a great opportunity to see what it looks like to work with someone who's actually required to have a fiduciary responsibility to look out for your best interest at all times. And as part of the financial physical, we will discuss your cash reserves, debt if you have any, insurance, all different types, and how to best allocate your assets. And we'll even benchmark where you are now financially compared to where you want to be. So you have an even better perspective of what's required to achieve your goals for the reasons that are important to you. And this will become the foundation for developing a plan that gives you the highest probability of making that happen. This meeting will be valuable to you whether or not we decide to work together. Just because you come in doesn't mean we're a good fit for each other. And that's why we have these meetings. There is no cost or obligation for this initial appointment. However, it is best suited for people who have saved at least $250,000. And as you probably are aware, Mark has mentioned it several times, I am a certified financial planner professional and the going hourly rate to meet with a CFP such as myself can cost as much as $300 an hour. So this is a tremendous value and chance to finally get your financial house in order and keep it that way. And your only commitment is an hour or so of your time. We try our best to help everyone. However, our slots do fill up quickly. So I can only guarantee a complimentary meeting for the next 10 people that contact us right now. Please don't procrastinate because making smarter choices about your money impacts the quality of your life. All right, folks, let's go ahead and text right now. 520-333-7601. You can call or text. That's 520-333-7601 to get a hold of Mark Silverman of Silverman and Associates. As he said, you could text in your full name and email address to get that complimentary white paper, or you could go ahead and request a meeting and come in and sit down and talk with Mark. And as he said, go through this initial process and see if it might be a good fit. 520-333-7601. You call or text at any time. You're listening to Saving with Silverman. We'll be right back. Planning for retirement shouldn't be a mystery. So why is it so easy to get bogged down with financial terms and advisors who try to offer you a sales pitch? At Silverman & Associates, Mark Silverman and his team take pride in looking after their clients' best interests. Schedule a complimentary review of your situation. Call or text 520-333-7601. That's 520-333-7601. You've got questions. We've got answers. Keep listening to Saving with Silverman. You're back here with us on Saving with Silverman. Mark Killian alongside Mark Silverman, the president of Silverman and Associates. That's a lot of Mark's. And a lot of L's in these words. And a lot of Silverman. A lot of Silverman, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, there's never too much Silverman, right? That's right. So you, know, you got to enjoy that. Some might, say, some might say there is. Well, that's true. Depending on depending on your wife's mood, right? She might say exactly. Something. <laughs> well, if you'd like to reach out to Mark, folks, he's right here in Tucson and Southern Arizona. He is a certified financial planner professional. 520-333-7601 is the number to call or text 520-333-7601. Zero one. We're going to do a little problem solving here on this section of the show, and maybe we can problem solve my uh, my ability to not speak. My mouth is not working correctly today on the show, but <laughs> we'll work our way through it. So uh, most people think that your primary job is what probably picking investments or something along those lines, but that's kind of only a small part of what a financial planner and advisor does, right, Mark? In fact, I don't even we don't even do the picking. We uh, we work with institutions that that okay. do that. We we outsource all the technical work. Um, and so we really focus on planning and, and, and bringing it all together. So then problem um, solving, right? It, it's problem solving. It, it's looking at all the different pieces, whether it be estate planning, tax planning, insurance planning, investment planning, income planning, social security planning, pension planning, whatever it might be, long-term care planning, you <laughs> so, know, all the different uh, things we're things looking at, solve, at yeah. everything together. 
um, rather than just um, looking at the investment management. Because anybody that hangs their hat on, on they figured out how to pick stocks and they can, you know, they know when to get in and when to get out. That is not somebody you want to work with uh, on a long term basis. Okay. Um, and, you know, so uh, really what it's it's relationship driven. So we really want to focus on building the relationship and, and, and listening to our clients and understanding what their needs and goals are and then giving them the right advice that's going to put them in the best position possible to achieve those goals. OK, so obviously, you know, problem solving and really planning, as you said, is really what your your main forte is and how you're how you're going to go about things. So I'll give you just a couple of examples and you just kind of will help us work through some of those uh, little problems there and how they might relate. So someone who comes in to you with a tax relationship problem how is that different uh you know than just someone who might be saying with a stock problem yeah well well most advisors again are just looking to sell investment insurance sure. products unfortunately um, but if somebody's got a tax related problem we you know we're not cpas but we do work with cpas and we do coordinate with other people's cpas as well if they already have those professionals in place so it's really looking at and, and getting the information to them if they don't have a cpa you know we can reach out to people that we work with and and get the right information to them and, and helping them make the right decision because you don't want a surprise at the end of the year that you took the money out of the wrong account or yeah. you didn't take the money out of the right account <laughs> yeah. whatever it might be yeah absolutely because there's some of those penalties are, are pretty steep for sure exactly uh okay so we don't talk about this one very often what about someone who if they came in and they were forced into an early retirement not didn't take one because they wanted to but they were forced into it sure so can they continue to be retired or do they need to go look for a job are they going to have enough income to last their life expectancy or if they're married both of their life expectancies so it's looking at those sorts of things how we're going to create an income plan you know is there going to be uh how's the health insurance going to be covered that's a big piece right now for people who are retiring prior to age 65 you know, that's a that's a discussion that we have a lot, you know, just understanding what the numbers, if they're going to work, if they're going to be successful or not. OK, so we're talking about problem solving. We're just kind of throwing out some topics here and getting some advice from Mark Silverman. Um, someone when they lose a spouse much earlier than they had planned. Is that something that you've got to be you know, talking about ahead of time, even though it's something that we don't want to think about, but it, that problem solving? Yeah, it's 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 being there um, because obviously when you lose a spouse, it's a very traumatic time, okay. and so we want to be sure that we're giving them the right advice and being there and moving at the pace that they're comfortable with, and hopefully that their other the spouse that passed away uh, kept them in the loop as far as how the investments worked and who their advisors were, who their other professionals were, so they have some understanding there. Unfortunately, a lot of times, and that's why we make it mandatory that we meet with both spouses when we take on a new relationship. Um, they are left out of the loop. And so it's hard enough to lose somebody. It's a whole nother thing when they don't even know. In some cases, we've seen where one spouse can't even write a check or doesn't even know how to do that. And so it's really giving them the guidance and really helping them with even the basics to understand what they have and what their goals are, because now their goals might be different than they were when they were married um, now that they're on their own. So it's really giving them the advice and, and giving them the proper uh, information um, so they can continue life on um, and, and, and move forward. You know, I always love that about when you when you do your offer to folks to come in and talk with you that, you know, it's mandatory that both uh, parties come in, both spouses come in. And I think it's such a great piece because, as you said, there are a lot of people out there who uh, and maybe it's not their bag. Right. You, you get a spouse a situation, you know, husband, wife, whatever the case may be. One maybe gravitates towards the financial stuff more than the other. In some households, uh, the wife kind of handles everything and others. It's the, the husband or whatever the case might be. And so it's really great to have both people come in and really understand where they both stand because it's so so critical uh, especially when you get into retirement and as you said if if something unfortunate did happen uh, the loss of a loved one it's better to have that information and know where to turn than just uh, to grieve as well as being lost in, in what uh, what's happening with your finances that's that's correct I mean it's it really is more for their benefit than it is ours Absolutely, but, uh, yeah. um, you know I, I'll be honest with you we, we we document it we let people know when we set the appointment we'll even have it in the letter that we send out and we'll call to confirm we'll remind people it has there been times when when one spouse doesn't come and the other one in the initial meetings that happens and we sure. unfortunately have to reschedule those meetings and some people you know whether it's macho-ness or whatever you want to call it <laughs> they say well i handle the investments i don't want to bother my wife with this and i said you're really doing a disservice not just to you but to her exactly um, yeah. and so i'm sorry but that's not something that we're looking at uh at moving forward with because i'm going to put my time into it it's got to be beneficial and we've got to build the relationships the right way and if uh, i'm working with a couple they both need to be there doesn't mean they have to both be experts in what's going sure. on yeah. 
but it's important that they're both there and, and, and the only way that one spouse who may not be up on things as much can learn is to come to those sorts of meetings, whether it's with us or other advisors or whatever it might be, but to be able to feel comfortable to ask questions. Yeah, to have that knowledge base is a great place to start from, uh, for sure. Well, we're talking with Mark Silverman about problem solving here on Saving with Silverman, 520-333-7601. Uh, you know, the downside, obviously, the negative part of losing a spouse is obviously bad enough. Uh, what about the problem solving situation when it might come to a divorce? So the opposite end of the spectrum there, uh, where there's that upheaval going on. Sure. So maybe they, you know, they were married, they planned on spending the rest of their life together and now uh, things have changed. So they got to make sure that they're looking out for themselves. Um, and, and, you know, it is a conflict of interest for one advisor to, to handle um, both spouses if they're divorced, just so you know that uh, I know with the CFP board, Certified Financial Planning Board, they consider that a conflict. I know there's some advisors out there that do that. Uh, we don't. If you had an advisor and maybe the one sp- your ex-spouse is going to stay with that advisor, you probably need to look for another advisor that's going to look out for your best interest, um, which they can't do that if it's the same person looking out for both parties. Right. Um, and so, you know, we do come across that. And, and you know, that's also another challenging time where we want to be there uh, for guidance and advice and making sure that we're helping them with those decisions because it, it, you know, divorces, I don't care which side you're on, are always tough. Yeah. And it could be a second marriage, you know, going on to a third marriage. There's lots of different things that could happen, children from different marriages, and you just want to make sure that you have, you know, the beneficiaries taken care of properly and all the kind of, as you said, all the, the paperwork and the, the I's dotted and the T's crossed. Very important time. So it's very important to problem solve with your financial advisor. Um, now, Mark, I'm sure that you've had case, cases and situations where uh, clients or potential clients have come in that have had bad advice or really been, you know, kind of taken over the coals by uh, someone in the same profession, an advisor or broker maybe, who did them, who kind of did them a disservice or did them dirty, and you had to help them out uh, with that situation as well. Yeah, we come across this. I mentioned it earlier, uh, that situation. Uh, I had somebody also who was uh, unfortunately in a situation where they were working with a broker who was basically churning their account. And they had lost, they had paid an amazing amount of money in commissions. Um, There was actually quite a few complaints already lodged against this other advisor who's here in Tucson. Um, And I'm still practicing, by the way. Um, But anyways, um, they were in a bad position and their account had been, they had lost a bunch of money, which, you know, if you you look at the market since 2009, depending on what you're invested in, it's pretty hard to have lost money. Um, I mean, it's been a phenomenal run. I've said this before. This is the second longest bull market with, that we've had. So, um, you know, just making sure that the advice that you're given is prudent and it's got to make sense. And no matter if you know a lot about this business or you know a little, you've got to go with your gut. If something doesn't seem right, go get a second opinion. Absolutely. And if you'd like to get that second opinion from Mark Silverman, reach out to him. Call or text 520-333-7601. 520-333-7601. Okay, Mark, so want to retire before retirement age. Uh, that's definitely a problem sometimes, depending on the customer's situation, obviously, how they've planned ahead of time or not. How do you work through some of those problems? Sure. Well, what's retirement age? Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's I mean, say ever, 65 and you get someone comes in at 60. Right. I just I was I was just joking with you, but you know, everybody's got a different retirement age and some people quite quite honestly will probably never retire because they want to or or because they don't want or well, no, that, they can. no, but it's a great point, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you might I mean everybody's got a different vision of when they want to retire, but yeah. uh, we are starting to see more people come in who want to retire at, you know, at age 60 or 62 and that sort of thing, which is great, and we'll run the numbers and make sure that they're going to be able to do that. You're talking a 35, 40 year retirement and, and a lot of those those cases, yeah. um, helping with those social security decisions on when they should take it or or defer it, um, and looking at if they have pensions and those sorts of things, and making sure that the plan is built solid. But a lot of people want to retire when they're eligible for social security, so that's kind of when they decide retirement age is. Some people want to do it at 70, or some people may never want to retire, and there's certainly nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm not one that can just sit around either. So um, I I certainly understand that you've always got to keep busy, whether it's uh, working another job or doing something that you enjoy or traveling or whatever it might be. But uh, we want to make sure you have a plan and that you're not going to run out of money. And that's the only way to do it by having somebody sell you a product is not going to solve your problems. 
Well, and I got to thinking about, you know, with uh, when you mentioned that, so like, say, for example, if someone wants to retire at, at 60, uh, the first thing that kind of pops into my mind is a problem that you might have to address or would have to address is the insurance side of it uh, for the health coverage because you can't kick that in until 65 and you may lose that, right, once you leave your job. Yeah, unless, you know, if, if they're married and maybe one spouse is going to continue yeah. working, okay. they might be able to, you know, piggyback on there and get on their plan. Uh, if they're not, some companies, depending, you know, we don't see it very often, but sometimes the company will let them. Uh, keep the plan and pay just pay the premiums um, in other cases where most people lie when they do retire before age 65 they're gonna have to go out and get their own plan and yeah. so what I always tell people is you know be prepared to uh, pay more and get less and there's so much going on with this health care thing nobody really know we never really know but now it seems right. like we we certainly don't know with all the changes that are happening so we'll actually reach out to um, if they have somebody that they know we can well, I'll have them go talk to them or we can make uh, referrals out to people that do specifically uh, health insurance and I'll have them go get some quotes of what they might be looking at so we could put those in the budget projections in their plan uh, to, to account for that. Well, a lot of problem solving goes into what you do. Obviously, that's what we're talking about here on Saving with Silverman. So there's people out there and they're listening. They're like, you know, I've got a couple of these problems or, you know, I might have a tax related issue or something of that nature. Maybe I need to sit down and talk with a professional. What's that going to look like, Mark? You know, um, just like you get a second opinion on your health. We just talked about health insurance. Yep. Why would you get a second opinion on your wealth? So whether you're doing it yourself or already working with someone, this is now your chance to go through the process we call the financial physical. Do you know what your investments are costing you if you're still working? Are you on track to have the type of retirement you've always envisioned? Or if you're already retired, do you know if you or your spouse are at risk of running out of money whilst trying to maintain your current lifestyle? I can assure you I will not be trying to sell you investment or insurance products. I repeat, this is not a sales meeting. In this initial meeting, we'll address issues of importance to you, provide an overall view of your situation, and give you some general advice on what needs to be completed. This consultation is designed for both individuals as well as couples. However, if you are married, it is mandatory, like we said earlier, that both spouses attend this initial meeting. So whether you're still working or already tired, this is a great opportunity to see what it looks like to work with someone who's actually required to have a fiduciary responsibility to look out for your best interest at all times. This meeting will be valuable to you whether or not we decide to work together. There is no cost or obligation for this initial appointment. However, it is best suited for people who have saved at least $250,000. And as you are aware, I am a certified financial planner professional, and the going hourly rate to meet with a CFP such as myself can cost as much as $300 an hour. And I believe I'm the only CFP locally that's here on the radio here in Tucson. So this is a tremendous value and chance to finally get your financial house in order and keep it that way. And your only commitment is an hour or so of your time. Just as you want to reach a healthy life from a physical standpoint, you also want to reach and maintain great financial health. So our financial physical is just what the doctor ordered. We try our best to help everyone. However, our slots do fill up quickly, so I can only guarantee a complimentary meeting for the next seven people that contact us right now. Please don't procrastinate because making smarter choices about your money impacts the quality of your life. All right, and how do you do that? You call or text 520-333-7601. That is 520-333-7601. If you'd like to reach out to Mark Silverman, president of Silverman & Associates, uh, you can get yourself a complimentary white paper. We talked about that a little bit earlier. All you have to do is uh, send your full name and uh, email address to that number. You can text it or call and leave a message. Uh, or you can reach out and ask Mark to uh, if you want to come in and have a conversation. Sit down and, and maybe go through some of these problems that we discussed here on the show. 520-333-7601. Keep listening to Saving with Silverman. We'll be right back. You finished school and worked hard to get your first job. You told yourself you'd save for retirement. But that old jalopy you bought when you were 16 broke down, so you bought a new one. You started to save, and soon you bought your first home. Then came pets, kids, and your world changed some more. You worked hard to provide for your family. You made sure your kids got a good education. You might be sending them to school right now. Or maybe it's the grandkids' turn. And of course, you're now making sure your parents are looked after. Through the years you lovingly sacrificed for your family, now it's time to take care of you. Love others well by taking care of yourself. Keep listening to Saving with Silverman to discover how to build a financial plan that will continue providing for you and the ones you love for years to come. Well, you're back here with us, gang, on Saving with Silverman. Mark Killian alongside Mark Silverman. 
And uh, we're doing the Mark and Mark show here today. But if you'd like to reach out to Mark Silverman, he can certainly help you when it comes to planning for retirement and your finances and making sure you're on the right path, on the right track, if you will, right here in Tucson and Southern Arizona. Give him a jingle or text him 520-333-7601-520-333-7601. Just reach out to him at any time. You don't have to wait for the show to be over. I know your phone is probably handy because we can't live without those things now. They're always nearby. So go ahead and shoot him a text and come on in and have a conversation or request that free white paper that we were talking about earlier, which Mark could tell you about right now. Why don't you go ahead and tell him about that again? Sure. So it's a top 10 mistakes people make in retirement. It's a free white paper that I'm uh, happy to share with anybody. We do email it out, so we're not mailing it out. So all you need to provide is your full name as well as your email address. And you could either call us or text us with that information. No strings attached. We'll be happy to share that with you. 520-333-7601. All right. So wrong questions, Mark. Let's ask some wrong questions or let's talk about some wrong questions. Uh, and not the ones that I usually ask my wife because they get me into lots of trouble. So a lot of people have questions about their retirement plan, but we find that they're often just asking the wrong question. So I'll give you some common questions. You tell us if we maybe should be asking it a different way or an entirely different question altogether. For example, how much money do I need to have saved in order to retire is a question that we hear a lot. And everybody's situation is different. Uh, you know, it depends on how much, you know, what's your life expectancy, what age are you going to retire? Are you retiring at 60 or are you retiring at 70? Um, so those are the things we need to think about. So everybody's situation is different. We build plans and we can tell you exactly what you'll need in today's dollars based on those things after we've done the, our homework. Um, but you really need to know what you're going to be spending in retirement. Um, if you're already retired, that number is sometimes easier to come across. Um, but if you're not, we need to sit down and really think about what you want to do in retirement so we can figure out how much income you're going to need and how much you're saving and those sorts of things. Uh, and so we can tell you exactly how much you need to put away or, or how much you, you, you will have to retire on if you want to retire at a certain age. Okay, so maybe better phrasing would be how much income will I need uh, in retirement or how much will my current savings give me in retirement? Exactly. Okay. And then what age and what age you're retiring? I mean, because that's, you know, there's yeah. a big difference. Somebody sure. retiring at 60 or somebody retiring at 80. Yeah. As we know. just mentioned in the last segment. Yeah. If you go at 60, you could be looking at a 30 year retirement. So absolutely. 35 or 40. potentially. True. That's true. Yeah. Nowadays, for sure. Uh, OK, so another question here, maybe another way to phrase this one is, should I get long term care insurance or just roll the dice? I'm not going to say that you have to have long term care insurance. There are other ways. And I've mentioned this before. There are other options out there, um, strategies, if you will, to have money pay for long term care expenses. Uh, and if you have a long term care insurance policy, great. Um, but if you don't, there are other ways to do it. You just need to have a strategy. Whether you're going to roll the dice, which I guess means you know self self pay, that's always an option. But you're probably looking somewhere in today's dollars around two hundred fifty thousand dollars if you if you needed long term care each for each person, yeah. and so that could be an option. Um, but there are other better ways and smarter ways, in my opinion, uh, by using you know uh, living care benefits with life insurance, um, or there's annuities out there that provide some long-term care benefits. So there's other options. You need to explore those, and so you can make the right decision once you have all that information. Well, we're talking about wrong questions here on Saving with Silverman. Uh, maybe a better way to put that is rephrased questions, such as we were saying, uh, a lot of times we'll hear, how much money do I need to have saved in order to retire? But a better question might be, how much income will I need in order to retire? So here's another example, Mark. How can I get the highest possible return on my money? Return is all is all guided by risk. The more risk you take, the more return you can expect to get and vice versa. What we want to do is you, nobody can predict the market. And I said this earlier, we're in the second longest bull market in the history of the market. So I don't know if the correction's coming this year or next year. I can promise you one thing. We're one day closer each day to a correction. And so with that in mind, I think if we do a good job as far as analyzing the risk and your comfort level, for one, and two, analyzing your goals and your objectives of what you're trying to accomplish and making sure those two are on track. If those are on track, then you're gonna be fine. Looking at trying to see what's gonna give you the highest rate of return, that works great if you're in your maybe 20s and 30s um, and you're far enough away from retirement that you don't really care. Um, it really isn't gonna matter at that point. Um, but if you're within 10 years of retirement, or in retirement, um, that's a horrible strategy. You know, I think uh, Will Rogers said, 
it's less about the return on my money and more about the return of my money. And I think that's more true today than ever. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's a good line. Absolutely. Uh, well, if you'd like to reach out to Mark Silverman, 520-333-7601 is the number to call or text 520-333-7601. Don't forget, if you do text, send your full name and email address and Mark will send you out that re- uh, retirement white paper. Uh, or you can also just request to come in for a consultation, 520-333-7601. Another wrong question, Mark, might be, where can I pay the lowest fees for financial advice? Well, it depends on what type of advice you're looking for. I mean, you're looking for advice or you're looking for investment management. I mean, there's lots of firms out there. You know, Vanguard's a good good place to to work with if you're going to be doing it on your own. And I'm not here to endorse any company, but Vanguard happens to be one of the better ones that have low fees. Uh, but, you know, wh- what are you going to buy? When are you going to sell? You know, those sorts of things. Are you on track for your goals? Um, if you're looking for just investment management, that's one thing. If you're looking for advice on planning and all these different other pieces, that's a whole nother thing. So you can't just go by fees. Fees do play a part. Um, but if you're going to base everything on the lowest fees, you're probably not going to have the best investment decisions that you've made uh, or you're not getting the right type of advice because it's not necessarily what you pay or excuse me, what you earn. It's what you get after you've paid fees and taxes. And a lot of people don't really look at the tax question. They just are buying things and don't really look and see, is this uh, the uh, smartest tax th- the way to do tax wise? How is this going to benefit me? Um, and we, tr- we do a very, very good job of trying to do tax minimization strategies so we can help our clients, not saying not pay taxes, but pay <laughs> the least amount that they can legally. Um, because why pay more if you don't have to? So it's, it's yeah, just absolutely. being smart and making better choices. No, I definitely agree. And I, I was giggling because you must be looking across the desk here at my sheet because my next question was, how do I pay less in taxes this year? So you kind of sure. so, live you know, right into it. Yeah. If you work with an advisor that uh, that does tax planning, you know most advisors that you you might be working with or you've talked to, they don't even look at a tax return. We require looking at people's tax returns when we uh, – and we sit down with people just because that's part of the equation. You know, sometimes you can write fees and expenses off, making sure people are doing that if they're itemizing. Um, you know, again, it's looking at the whole picture. And too many advisors, again, are there just to sell things, so they're not really looking at the looking at everything. If they're not asking these questions, they're not looking at everything. Then how could they do a great job for you? And so it's important that um, you work with someone who does look at taxes and, and, and realizes that everybody has to pay them. But by the same token, there are better decisions that can be made to try to minimize taxes when, whenever possible. So again, so whether you're a first time listener to the show or you've heard me for a long time, if anything I've said makes sense, resonates with you, this is now your chance to come in and have a conversation with me in my office to go through the process we call the financial physical. And I can assure you, I will not be trying to sell you investment or insurance products. I repeat, this is not a sales meeting. Rather, we're gonna discuss your values and goals, honestly, in a way you probably never have. This consultation is designed for both individuals as well as couples However, as we said before, if you are married, it is mandatory that both spouses attend this initial meeting. So whether you're still working or already retired, this is a great opportunity to see what it looks like to work with someone who's actually required to have a fiduciary responsibility to look out for your best interest at all times. And as part of the financial physical, we will discuss your cash reserves, debt if you have any, insurance, all different types, and how to best allocate your assets. And we'll even benchmark where you are now financially compared to where you want to be. So you have an even better perspective of what's required to achieve your goals for the reasons that are important to you. This becomes the foundation for developing a plan that gives you the highest probability of making that happen. This meeting will be valuable to you whether or not we decide to work together. There is, again, there's no cost or obligation for this initial appointment. However, it is best suited for people who have saved at least $250,000. And as you are aware by now, I am a certified financial planner professional, and the going hourly rate to meet with a CFP such as myself can cost as much as $300 an hour. So this is a tremendous value and chance to finally get your financial house in order and keep it that way. And your only commitment is an hour or so of your time. We do try our best to help everyone. However, our slots do fill up quickly. So I can only guarantee a complimentary meeting for the next five people that contact us right now. Please don't procrastinate because making smarter choices about your money impacts the quality of your life. All right, gang, go ahead and grab that cell phone that's nearby and call or text 520-333-7601, 520 
7601. It's a great opportunity to make sure you're on the right road, the right path, if you will, uh, for financial plan and make sure that you're going in the right direction. But you got to get this planning process started by reaching out to Mark. There's a lot he can do for you, but he can't do any of it if he doesn't get the chance to know you. So go ahead and grab that phone and dial or text 520-333-7601 and come in and talk with Mark Silverman, president of Silverman and Associates. Stick around. There is much more show coming up. We'll be right back with more Saving with Silverman. Life is complicated. It's full of twists and turns and complex issues. The last things you need when planning your financial future are confusing numbers and advisors who just offer you a sales pitch. We believe there's a simpler way to invest. Your financial plan should be built on a plan that's made just for you. It's all about discovering your goals and designing a strategy that will help you get where you want to go. And don't worry, we'll track your progress along the way. Stop wandering your way through your investing life. Come in for a visit today. To schedule a visit, call or text 520-333-7601. That's 520-333-7601. Do you ever feel like you need Superman to help you with your financial crisis? I've got you. you. You've got me? Who's got you? Well, we're not superheroes, but we can save the day when it comes to your finances. Keep listening to Saving with Silverman. You're here with us on Saving with Silverman. Mark Killian alongside local CFP professional from Tucson and Southern Arizona area. That's Mark Silverman. He's the president of Silverman and Associates, and he's going to get out his his uh, slippers and his cigar and his big book of stories, and he's going to tell a story time right here on the show. <laughs> yeah, I know you hate it when I say that, but that's okay. We're going to have a little fun, and basically we're just going to – I just want to ask you to tell us a story or a time or an occasion or a case study, something along those lines, uh, where you help somebody out. And in this example, I'm going to change it up on you a little bit and say somebody came in to see you for a second opinion, and when you got through looking at everything and working with them, they were doing a great job. They were doing everything really well and didn't need, didn't need to change anything. I don't see that a lot, but I do see it occasionally. Okay. Um, and there's always things that you can fine tune, you know, whether it be, you know, maybe they didn't keep enough cash reserves, that sort of thing, but maybe their investments were appropriate. They did the estate planning correctly. They had a, a CPA that was taking good care of them. Uh, and they had all their ducks in a row. Um, but sometimes we, there's minor adjustments that need to be made. Maybe they're just not a good fit for what our practice is because this does come down to personality as well. Um, and luckily, I'm in a place where, and please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm in a place where I can work with people that I want to work with just as um, when when people come in to, to interview us and decide whether they want to work with us, they have to determine if we're a good fit. And if we're not, that's certainly there's nothing wrong with that. But we're not a good fit for everybody, but for the people we do serve, I think we do a very, very good job, and I think our clients would agree. But, you know, there are times when we'll look at things and make sure that they're in a good position, and maybe they're doing mostly everything right, and I'd like to see that. Unfortunately, we don't see that too often um, because there's a lot of people are doing things wrong, and I don't always blame the people. I always I blame either, maybe it's an advisor that wasn't guiding them right or didn't ask the right questions or um, – maybe they were doing it themselves and they only had themselves to blame. So um, those are some of the things, but, you know, we do occasionally come across where, you know, everybody for most, for the most part, they have a pretty solid plan and there's maybe some minor tweaks that they could make where they don't need to become a client. We'll just, you know, give them some advice and then, then send them on their way and we're, we're there if they need us. Okay. So the moral of the story being that you don't know what you don't know. If you come in for that second opinion, you might just find that uh, you're doing things really well and Mark will pat you on the back and send you on your way. Uh, But you may find that some minor tweaking will make some big differences. And then you may find that you need, you know, quite a bit of help. So the idea here being is that if you don't get that second opinion, you just won't know. So reach out to Mark if you'd like to at 520-333-7601. You can call or text 520-333-7601. One, come in and have a conversation with Mark. You can also request that complimentary white paper uh, at 520-333-7601. So just shoot Mark your full name and your email address, and he'll get that out to you as well, that complimentary white paper. 520-333-7601. Stick around. We'll be right back. At Silverman and Associates, we believe you deserve a financial plan that's customized to your situation. That's because no one strategy could possibly fit your unique needs and goals. From strategizing to execution, our goal is to give you undivided attention. 
Come in for a visit today and learn what it looks like to put your retirement dreams into action. Call or text 520-333-7601. That's 520-333-7601. Picture this. Your financial statements have come in the mail. What's going through your head as you open them up? Maybe all that financial jargon is flustering. Maybe the numbers are confusing, or maybe those red arrows are leaving you in a funk. Don't base your future on a monthly letter. Keep listening to Saving with Silverman. Learn what true financial planning really looks like. Well, we're cruising down the home stretch here on Saving with Silverman. Mark Killian alongside Mark Silverman. He is the prez, the big dog, the big kahuna over there at Silverman and Associates. He's a certified financial planner professional. And if you'd like to reach out to him here in Southern Arizona or specifically Tucson, give him a call or text 520-333-7601. Let's reach into the mailbag, Mark, and see if we can uh, take some questions from around the area. Well, our first question is from George. He's over in Vail, and he says, My wife is retiring earlier than we expected because of some medical issues. She's only 56, and we'd planned on her working until 62. Do we need to quickly shift her 401k into a more conservative fund since retirement uh, is, you know, suddenly here? Well, hello, George, and uh, I have a lot of clients in Vail. It's a great area, and I'm sorry to hear about your um, your wife's medical issues. I hope everything works out. You know, it, it probably makes sense to sit down and make sure that everything's positioned properly now that things have changed. You know, it's a, it's a life-changing uh, event. Um, so if you were a client currently, I would tell you that this is something where you would, we would want you to come in so we can discuss things and see what the changes, how that impacts your plan. But, you know, not necessarily, I'm not going to make a recommendation of how you should be invested without knowing more about your situation. But I will tell you, if you're working with an advisor, you certainly should reach out to that person, uh, and let them know what's going on so they could, uh, make those adjustments. If you're not, uh, and you're doing it yourself, you, you certainly want to, to look at things. If you want to come in and have a conversation, happy to do that uh, with you and, and make sure that um, everything's going to work out. All the numbers are going to make sense and you guys are still going to be on track for what you planned on doing in retirement. Yeah, because you don't want to just jump to a conclusion, George, without getting some proper information. I mean, I, I see your train of thought, and it kind of you know it would make sense to think, well, I should maybe go get get conservative, but you really don't know unless you get that full evaluation to make sure that you're doing the right thing. So before you take any action, definitely just check with a qualified professional, George. And if you'd like to reach out to Mark, if if you don't have an advisor, or even if you do for a second opinion, five two zero three 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 seven six zero one. Call or text that number. 520-333-7601. Thank you so much for listening to the show, George, and, uh, and keep on listening. We hope uh, things definitely improve for you guys. Our next question is from Helen, and she is in Oracle. And Helen oh. says, uh, how much longer will this good run in the stock market last? Don't you love these? We're getting really uh, from one side of town to the other, from Vail to Oracle. <laughs> um, I don't think you could find <laughs> farther places across The airwaves town. are working. Yes. But uh, hello, Helen. Uh, thanks for the question. You know, I, I don't have a crystal ball. And um, I, I, as I've said before, anybody that, that tells you that they do, uh, and there are advisors out there that think that they can predict the market, um, you want to run from those from those people. But, you know, this is the second longest bull market, I said this before, that we that we're in. And so, again, I can promise you one thing. We're one day closer to a correction. So I don't know if it's this year, next year, whatever it might be, um, but you need to be aware of that. And I think it's always a good time. And now certainly given the run that we've had, because the longer this goes on, the more we see greed coming in. Look at, uh, yeah. you know, 2007 before before late 07, 08 hit. Um, so people are taking a lot more risk with their investments. I think also the other side of that is with interest rates so low and staying low, uh, you know, people have really not happy with what rates have been and, you know, rates, you know, did go up and now they're back down. We're actually lower now in, on interest rates than we were beginning of the year. Most people don't realize that. And so yeah. they're taking a lot more risk with their portfolio than they realize. So it's a good time to really understand the risk and the downside that you may be experiencing, especially if you're within 10 years of retirement, or more importantly, if you're already retired, so you understand that before and you're not caught uh, with a market in the middle of a market correction uh, because you weren't proactive and you weren't, um, you got greedy, I guess you I would say. You know, playing devil's advocate here, Mark, you know, we get this type of question a lot. 
And obviously, people, you know, they want to try to take advantage of it. You know, it's been on this, you know, the big tear and everything, the big run. But is it is it worth it for just as a general devil's advocate question for folks to take that time to to reach out to an advisor or talk to him and say, hey, just look at my situation, tell me where I'm at, and maybe you know it's not the worst time to think about selling off some some potential stocks while it's so high. Or am I speaking out of turn there? No, I mean th- th- those are conversations we can have. I mean, you obviously want to be cognizant of the tax consequences too, sure, depending yeah. what type of a Count it is. We want to look at those things, but I think it's always important. And I think what we do a great job of, I'm kind of pounding myself on the back, is really understanding people's risk. We do a great job of understanding people's risk. And even if they become a client, we will reassess it um, uh, on a regular basis, as well as looking at their plan and making sure all those things are working together and making those adjustments throughout that process. Because, you know, when things are bad or worse or get better, whatever it might be. We want to make those changes to the shifts in people's circumstances because the market's going to do what the market's going to do. Trying to get into the market now because you think it's it's going to continue to do well and then you're going to get out before it goes down, that's impossible. Yeah. That's market timing and that doesn't work. And so, um, you know, those are conversations that we can have, but I think it's it's just being appropriate and, and managing the risk to your comfort level as well as your goals uh, at all times. And I think that's how you're going to be successful. All right. Well, great question, Helen, and hopefully that helps you a little bit, gives you some things to think about. Go ahead and reach out to Mark. Come in, sit down, and have a conversation about it. Let him see where you're at and what's going on for you. 520-333-7601. Our final question is from Tom in the Foothills. And Tom says, Mark, I'm constantly waffling between wanting to protect my money with safer investments and wanting to grow as much as I can. Uh, what should I do? I'll be 60 in a month. This kind of relates, and thanks, Tom. Um, this kind of relates to, to Helen's question. A little bit, yeah. Um, you know, trying to time the market, whether you should be in safe or, or growth. It, it, it depends on your goals. Um, it really does, and, it, and your risk preference and, and lots of different things. Uh, you could have different buckets. You could have some money that's, you know, your cash reserves, emergency money. Uh, should be liquid and those sorts of things. But as far as growth, how much growth do you need? can't answer that question. The only way we can answer that is by doing a plan for you to see what that number looks like um, to achieve your goals and when you're going to retire, life expectancy and what you want to do in retirement and how much you might need in retirement. Once we know all those things, once we've run a plan for you, we can tell you what rate of return you need. Um, and then based on that, we could we could build a portfolio and adjust it uh, to match that. Uh, it's hard to, to go uh, all growth and then and conservative and, and trying to predict which way the market's going to go because the market is at all-time highs we we know that i've just said this we're on the second longest bull market so having said all those things it's important to really understand that and make sure that you're taking again like i just told helen uh the appropriate amount of risk at all times and so you know having said that i think it's important that you really um maybe now's a good time to either meet with your advisor if you're working with one or if you're doing it yourself you know revisiting those things and really making sure that you have a plan so again, the first thing I'll do is if anybody's interested in that white paper, the top 10 mistakes people make in retirement, happy to share that with anybody that's that's listening. This would apply to anybody that's either a pre-retiree or retiree. Um, just all you need to do is either email or text us with your full name as well as your email address, and we'll happy to get, get that out to you. Uh, but if you want to know more, here's a simple question. And can you answer it honestly and objectively as possible? Aside from happy hellos and how's the family, and aside from the occasional lunch or golf game, I mean, I get it. I'm as much friends with so many of my clients, they become true friends over the many years. But I think the question has to be asked, especially in light of the stakes. Is your current financial advisor truly adding value beyond a doubt? Is your current financial advisor truly adding value? It's a valid question as a friendship or just relationship allows you not to be in a position to ask those critical questions. Are you talking about taxes? Are you talking about social security and income and diversification and insurance and estate planning and healthcare? Are you having those annual reviews, but hopefully it's more frequently than that? Is there detailed follow-up? Is there accountability? If you are, if all that is happening, congratulations because you've got a great relationship and send your financial advisor a thank you. But if you're not, if you're not having that, if you're not feeling the value, if you're not having these in-depth conversations, then you owe it to yourself and really to your family to have a conversation with someone else because if you don't, 
you're the one that's going to suffer. You're the one that's going to pay the cost, and it'll cost you in more ways than you'll ever know. Let us prove to you how we can help your money go further in retirement. Let us show you with our financial physical. I believe you'll be shocked at what you'll learn, and this won't cost you anything. Give us a call, 520-333-7601, 520-333-7601. That's 520-333-7601. All right, if you're a retiree or a pre-retiree, this is a great chance to really just make sure you're headed in that right financial direction as you do plan and prepare for your retirement. Mark Silverman can look at your portfolio, show you where you are now, but more importantly, help you get to where you want to be. But as I've said before, he can't do much of anything if he doesn't get a chance to know you. And that's where you come in. You've got to reach out, take a little action, and give Mark a call or text at 520-333-7601. You can request that white paper he was discussing, or you can come in for that consultation and sit down and have that discussion about your unique, specific financial situation. But either way, take a little bit of action. 520-333-7601 only costs you about an hour of your time, and uh, you'll definitely have some more information and some better knowledge to work off of. 520-333-7601. Mark, thanks so much for being on the show again this week. As always, we love having you here. Mark, I'm always happy to be here. I hope everybody got some value from this. If we can help, please let us know, but make sure you drink plenty of water and stay cool out there, people. Yeah, absolutely. Well, make sure you tune in, too, for more Saving with Silverman every week right here on the same channels, 520-333-7601. Saving with Silverman and Mark Silverman. Bye-bye. Silverman and Associates Wealth Management LLC is a registered investment advisor. Information presented is for educational purposes only and does not intend to make an offer or solicitation for the sale or purchase of any specific securities product, service, or investment strategy. Investments involve risk and, unless otherwise stated, are not guaranteed. Be sure to first consult with a qualified advisor, tax professional, or attorney before implementing any strategy or recommendation discussed herein.